Good morning everyone. It's a brand new day and a brand new day for decluttering. Today I'm going to declutter my bedroom. It was done probably around six weeks ago and then I've dipped in and out so it needs another page. I'm ready to part with more. I don't want to be a total minimalist. I still have far too many things and I know everybody's idea of minimalism is different. I don't want to be a total minimalist where I just have a duvet and a pillow and that's it. I just want to live a more meaningful and minimal life and and that was my life crashing down with my hoard. <laughs> it wasn't really my hoard, it was just the clothes made and it's fine. But yeah, I have to say that since I have become more minimal, I have become more minimal in lots of ways when I'm out shopping. So the benefits of this for me are I am saving money, I am becoming more conscious of the things that I'm bringing into my home and whether you know I really need the item. It's made me different when I'm shopping online because we can't get out of the shops at the moment so a majority of us are just shopping online and I've found it's making me a lot more money conscious is the words I'm looking for I think where I just don't know whether I want to part with my money to have it and it not bring me that much happiness and when you think of it I have parted with probably thousands of pounds worth of stuff that just don't bring me any happiness so it's making me a lot more I don't know what the word is I'm looking for the word has completely escaped me what is the word it's not conscious it's accountable accountable <laughs> It's making me a lot more accountable on what I'm going to spend my money on, whether it's worth me spending my money on it, because if it's going to come into my house and not bring me any happiness, it's back out the door again. So I'm like, do I want to part with my money to buy this? So it's making me more accountable. From my previous page, I held on to some things that I wasn't sure about. And those things that I wasn't sure about, I am now positive about that I just don't need. And it started off with one cardigan that is on the floor. I wasn't sure about this cardigan. And for the past five weeks, I've not worn it. The only time I've put it on was when it was cold one morning and I put it on on top of my pyjamas to keep me warm. It's not a good enough reason to keep a cardigan that could potentially bring somebody else some joy or happiness. So it's going and I'm going back into the wardrobe. I don't have many clothes left, I'm not going to lie. It's not a feather. It is a little blob of dust. Can you see it? I don't know why it's not going to focus, but it's just a little blob of dust. And you know where that came from, don't you? That came from the top of my wardrobe. <laughs> but never mind, anyway. Yeah, that's how dusty it is because I've got the windows open, so I'm blowing the fresh air through. We are going to purge. I'm going to clear out the wardrobe, clear out the shoe cabinet, clear out my makeup boxes and the top boxes where I keep my eyeshadows and brushes. I can't touch these drawers or this bedside table because they're Lee's and he will declutter his own stuff. He doesn't need me to declutter it for him. I won't do this bedside table because that holds my intimates. So I won't declutter that on camera and I'll have a little look in the drawers in the bed. But I'm pretty sure all the drawers in the bed are now empty. So let's crack on with the wardrobe first. And just, just before we head to the wardrobe, there's where it's starting. This cardigan. And like I say, I've not worn it. I've only worn it once. And then I've got four bin bags already filled up of clothes. So this is going to be fun. Some of these items are out of the loft and they're sweatshirts and t-shirts that are just not going to wear. So they will get donated to the charity shop. A little sip of tea before we begin. Cheers. Mm. Let's move the clothes it made out the way. Otherwise that will come crashing down again. Side is Lee's side, so I'm not going to touch the... Now, I love this jumper. I only purchased it a few weeks ago. However, I was making wax melts in it the other day when I was filming actually, and I got wax on the cuff and it actually didn't come out in the wash. Pomegranate Noir to be spe specific, precise. I don't know what the word is, but you know what I mean. Now, I do love this jumper. However, it was so unflattering on me on that video. 
it just didn't look nice so i thought i love this jumper i don't it's going doesn't make me happy hello because these drawers are very minimal now i've got my leggings at the back a couple of hoodies there a pair of joggers which are what i use to go walking pair of skinny jeans, my Nike three quarter joggers again, I wear those to go walking, a Nike hoodie and a little jumpsuit, they're fine, again just, oh we have money, oh you love it when you pick a pair of jeans off and the money falls. I was keeping it anyway, but it's my own anyway. It's in my pocket. About seven pounds there. Lovely, but I don't wash them every time I wear them because the dye would just run out of them. So they stay in there. And those, those are my leather jeans, which are, they're a new pair of Topshop jeans and Topshop's gone now, so it's important that I have them. I've got those two pairs of leather jeans and those three pairs and that's it. And then in here is my long sleeve tops, a couple of t-shirts, my body suits, pyjamas, slippers and a spare set of bedding. So they can stay there. That's my red sweatshirt. Those are the same as them ones, but I'm so limited now with my jeans. I'm like, oh my gosh. That's my purse, that can stay there. They're getting sold. Perfumes, right. Oh, <laughs> Twix wrapper. Got a little tiny bit left in that, but you know what? J-Lo Glow is one of my favourite perfumes, so I can't part with that. I've got black orchids. I'm getting through these, they're getting better. Now, I got that one off my sister. I fell in love with the smell of it in her house. It smells absolutely gorgeous, but I'm going to give it back to her because I've got loads of perfumes and I've not been using it, so there's no point in me keeping it. This one, it's Penn Halligan's and it's the number nine. But again, as you can see, it's not one that I'm picking up and using. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I've never been a lover of this, the Creed Aventus for hair. Never been a lover. I, I wore it because I felt like I had to, but no, it's just not my type of smell at all. It's quite manly, really. I'm going to get rid of that. Moving on, I've got my cap, which is what I wear when I go walking or running, and my fedora, which is a, it's an expensive fedora. So I'm going to keep them because I absolutely love that for the winter. And then we have, now this is the problem. I need to get rid of some of these. That's a Pandora bracelet. It's brand new. I've never even worn it. So I think I'm going to pop that on a selling site. Say it with diamonds. That's a ring that Ali got me. I don't know whether I've spoke about say it with diamonds, but their jewellery tarnish is terrible. That's like a ring, if you can see. But look how tarnished it is. It's supposed to be silver. It's just tarnished. Terrible. But I've got to keep it because Ali bought it for me. It's sentimental. Get rid of them. Old pair of tweezers. And this is a little lock of our Sadie's hair. Sadie was my sister's little shih tzu. Abs was that Sadie or was that Molly? Sorry, that's our Molly. Sadie's in the loft. That's our Molly's hair. I've just realised it's actually golden on the ends, as you can see. That's our Molly's hair. She passed away. But yeah, that's our Molly. They're going bye-byes. I think I'm going to part with these as well. I'm not going to part with that bracelet. That's staying. But... These are my Ray-Ban aviators. Now, these are going to go because these are so old. They're as old as the hills and they're just not me anymore. God, they are so big. Now, they're definitely going. 
<laughs> oh gosh and then we have another pair which are gold frame green tints i think these ones are see now i don't like them either now they're going to because i'm just not going to wear them they've been in the boxes for i don't know how long they're not going to get worn so they might as well go and then that is i'll cover that up because it's got our surname on there but that's our denny's album <laughs> and then i'll turn that round and cover the details on the bottom but yeah i'll keep that because obviously i've had that for years and years so that's going to stay in that little box this is a receipt from the sunglasses shop from the 19th of august 2016 and it is for my ray-bans ray-ban gold which are the gold frame green tint well that can go with the sunglasses because that is authenticity and then we have some photographs I don't really like going through photographs but i'll have a quick look well i'd say we've done well with that basket because there's hardly anything in there now apart from some jewelry bits and an eyebrow brush and then our molly's hair we've got a plant that can come out they can stay and I'd say that's the wardrobe done. That is going to be so easy to move in a few weeks when we've got to clear the bedroom. I was up the top there, has already been done. It's where I keep my handbags and um, stuff that I want to keep in the boxes. So that's all fine. My hat can go back there. I need to dust that off, but I'll do that in a cleaning video because that's a whole other video. This is the bit that I've been dreading because... <laughs> can't part with this one yet i'm almost there and i've got a new one to start but i've got a tiny little bit left in the bottom so i'll get that out of the shot this is full of eyeshadows now i don't need this many eyeshadows i definitely don't so the sad thing is out of all of these out of all of these palettes there's like one or two colours that I use. And the likes of this one. I've got this on my eyes today. The Makeup Revolution one. This one. Because it's just a little bit too orange. And I don't want it to be too orange. And then I put a little bit of the model zone over the top. So I'm definitely going to keep them ones. Because I, I can't do like take them. the simplest feeling beyond the goal. We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious <laughs> That just didn't go well I got that and I got that But at least it's two things two, two things are better than no things Now, in the makeup one I didn't really get rid of much. I got rid of a highlighter from MAC, a couple of little brushes and two old mascaras. Now we are moving on to here. Right, let's see. We have my bedroom spray. Two combs. I do need those. That is Lee's necklace. The makeup brushes. That again. I've been there for months and not been used. I, I do use them when I do go out anyway. Do you use them when I do go out anyway? Future editing Tony just stepping in to say that that bag of eyeshadow brushes have gone. I was clinging onto them because I might use them when we come out of lockdown, but during the past year i've used three eyeshadow brushes and not touched any of the brushes in that bag that is the prime example of the hoarder in me like holding on to them because you know i might use them in the future when i've been perfectly fine without them for well over a year so they've gone and i was really disappointed when i seen that i'm editing it now and i just felt so disappointed seeing it so they've gone 
back to uh, old Tony, old past Tony. I don't know, but back to the vlog anyway. I should be the last to know where all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. Really, I could do with something that's more organised for in there, and I just don't have anything at the moment, so it'll just have to be as it is. That's our little pile. I think we're doing pretty well. And then if I just come round here, <laughs> there's nothing at all I can purge from here, but I've got the Hoover on charge, but that should be fully charged now. So let's take that off and that off. Goes away. And there. And then I'll put my air freshener back in. I'll move my IPL. That is my IPL hair removal kit. Spoke about this. I had a sponsorship with Kenzie um, a few months ago now, but absolutely the best thing ever. And obviously because the hot weather is coming, I want to use this. So in preparation for summer, I've done my bikini line. I've done underneath my armpits and I'm still doing my top lip. Absolutely great swear by this the best thing and the cable on it that's the cable on it so you're not restricted at all i plug it in there and i go over there and i do it on the, the bed it takes me about 10 minutes but if you are gonna purchase a kenzie get yourself a pair of sunglasses and wear a pair of sunglasses because the flash on it can be a little bit bright but it is quite bright so if you put a pair of sunglasses on you're fine the drawers in the bed haven't got anything in them. The little drawer on this side of the bed has got Lee's stuff in and the two drawers on that side of the bed have got Lee's stuff in. But the one drawer that had my stuff in is empty. So I'm not going to touch that. But I'm going to get this into a bin bag now because we have got, I'd say another bin bag, but I just need to sort it out a little bit. See what's going on to the selling sites, what's going to charity and just sort it out. So cue the little time lapse. one bin bag one bin bag is better than no bin bags and i'm yet to clear out my underwear drawer but i'll do that separately i'm now going into the office to have a little look in this wardrobe on top of the wardrobe and sort my desk out i think i'm going to put you on a time lapse for this because the room is so small so i'm going to prop you up on my desk do on top of the wardrobe and then see what we clear
Christmas planners. They were supposed to go to Alia. I'll have to message her and see if she still wants them for next Christmas. That was my one and I didn't even use it. I forgot I even had it, but I'm not gonna use it. So. I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna keep it. And then I have another basket, which is my screen cleaner. I can stay. Oh, more perfumes. I was wondering where that was. That's my pen Halligan Salfetti. Couldn't find it anyway. Found it. I'll sort that out in a minute. Right. Those there. have far too many pairs of shoes. Far too many. How about I even have them? I'm going to wear them today. I'm all in black and I've not worn them yet. Lee and Lee got me those. They're Yeezys. I'm going to wear them today. I've not worn them yet and I forgot all about them. So I'll wear them today. Those are my trainers that are about probably about eight years old. They're the first pair of my Hirachi, but they're so comfortable to walk in. I can't part with them. And the same goes for my my flying it today, the flying it racer in Oreo. So hard to get, but gorgeous pair of training and super comfortable. So they're not going anywhere. They're brand new. They've never even been worn. I'll donate them. They can get donated. And... Ew! <coughs> oh, dust. Another pair of slippers. They can get donated. I have so many pairs of boots like that, you know. So many pairs. We'll have to keep them because I absolutely love them boots. Can't part with them. I can part with them. I don't going to use that bag anymore, but I don't know whether I want to sell it. It's the Gucci Messenger. And I think it was actually my first designer bag that I purchased. I can't part with it. It's a bit sentimental, but I will use it. I will use it at some point, I'm sure. Topshop fairy sliders. Gosh, they can get donated. Pair of shoe. Are they shoe? Yeah, shoe. Brand new slip-on boots. I've never even worn them. They can get donated. Of Topshop slip-ons. I love them. They're nice and comfy as well. My Zara pearl and stud boots. Absolutely love them. So I'll keep them. Sketches. Oh, you know what? That's such a shame because Laura, my sister-in-law, has started working in the Royal Hospital and she said to me, Tony, what's the most comfortable shoes that I can get? Because my feet are so sore. I said, you've got to get a pair of sketches. They're the only thing that you can wear. You can't wear like Converse. Been there, done that, and ended up with the sorest feet ever. But um, sketches are super comfortable and if they would have been a size bigger, I'd have given them to Laura for us to wear in work, but there's no way they'd fit it. I think they're a size four. I think where's the size on them? Yeah, they're a size four, so they're not going to fit her. It's such a shame because they would have been perfect for her. Let's have a little try. I'm not going to wear these. I'm, I'm definitely not. I've got no way to wear them too. For the needs of that extra comfy they are lovely but i'm not gonna wear them i'll put them on a selling page like vintage or something like that if they sell that's great if they don't it's no big deal little top for summer and a lovely little pair of khaki shorts from matalan for summer and then i've got a little khaki dress these are all from last summer. I just haven't got around to wearing them. I wore the denim on a lot and loved it. And then that's my blazers and my winter coat. I need to do better. 
I'm going to get on top of the wardrobe now. This is where the fun begins because, as you can see, things are a little bit chaotic up here. Um, that is my earring and the musk. I told you all about that, didn't I? And do you know what the funny thing is? That is a £100 bottle of amber musk earring perfume and that is like the £15 or £20 one. I prefer that one. It smells so much nicer. I mean, they're the same. They're the same fragrance, but I just prefer this one than this one. Don't know what it is. I'm starting to procrastinate and it's one of the worst things that you can do because there's just so much stuff. It's so overwhelming. I need to part with more. So as I'm sitting saying, I want to keep this and I want to keep that. Really, I don't need to keep it. It's like the Zara boots. I've wore them once last winter. Just once, that's it. So I think I'm going to let them go. I'm going to pop them on to... <laughs> See, I'm procrastinating. I'm like, oh, don't even get me started on this. Future Tony again, just jumping in to say, this is the hard part of the whole decluttering challenge with me. And these are the bits that I usually edit out of the video so you don't see them. But I've left them in because I know that a lot of you who are on this journey with me and decluttering your homes are going to be feeling the exact same vulnerability that I felt part with my things. And I think in this video, you can actually see how hard it was for me to part with them. Those things have gone and my life is no different for them not being around me. If anything, I've just got more room around me and more space in the wardrobe. There's no point in holding on to things if you're only going to wear them once or use them once. And the mindset that I've got myself into now is if I can easily replace something for £20 or £10, then I'm going to let it go. I don't need to hold on to it. The likes of my clothes and shoes, there's something... It's something that I've always been passionate about is fashion and clothes and just collecting lovely clothes, handbags, shoes and perfumes and designer goods as well. And I realised that I don't need those things and being able to part with them has made me a much stronger person. So if you are struggling, please just know that you'll be okay. It might hurt you initially parting with those things, but you'll feel so much better when they've gone. I just thought I would include it because I didn't touch upon it anywhere in the video and I've left it in there. And if anything, I just look incredibly stressed while I'm decluttering. It was hard at that time, but I'm so much happier for it now. So just know that it does get easier and you will feel so much better. Back to the vlog. I'm also going to let these go as well because I'm just not wearing them. I'm not wearing them. And I've got my Brents and Nanettes, which are very similar, but so much nicer. So I'm going to keep the Grenson and let the others go. But obviously I'm going to sell them on because they were expensive. I'm going to switch off. I need to clear some of the stuff away because I literally, I'm going to take this off and let you see what I'm dealing with because there's just stuff everywhere. Literally everywhere I look and turn, there is just stuff and it just doesn't do well. So I'm going to clear a majority of all this into piles at least. This is the thing. It shouldn't be hard. If something makes you happy and brings you, brings you, <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed right now. Oh my gosh. Anyway, if something makes you happy, don't part with it. So I'm not going to part with any of my blazers because each blazer has a different thing. One is a longer length one, one is a shorter length one. You know, one is more Balmain style, one isn't. So if you've got something and it makes you happy, then you keep it, don't let it go. I'm not gonna let any of them go, any of my blazers 
I'm not gonna let any of my blazers go, but I am gonna have to be a lot more um, brutal with my shoes. I've got far too many of the similar style. So I'm gonna get them listed onto Vinted as we speak, and then I'll come right back because at least then I can move the stuff that is on sale and site out of the way out of sight, out of mind and concentrate on the stuff that is getting donated to charity or is going to the recycling or is going into the rubbish. Phew! Right, I have glass cleaner for the mirror. Oh, I've got a little tiny bit left in this and it's my favourite one. It's the ginger twist from Method and some kitchen roll for me to clean up there. And this mirror is rotten. Hey, something feel like I've got somewhere now but my desk because it's only narrow because it's a dressing table it's not a proper desk it doesn't hold too much stuff but I'm gonna have a quick clear out and that's it that is my declutter I hope this video has given you some inspiration to declutter and downsize the amount of things that you have because sometimes we just hold on to things for the sake of holding on to them and if there's one thing that I've learned since the whole world changed with the pandemic it's that none of these things bring me value they don't bring me happiness spending time with family and friends is what brings me happiness and none of this stuff so it feels good to have a nice deep clean and a nice deep clear out i've got plenty more minimalism videos coming if you enjoy this type of content please give it a thumbs up because i know to create more of this style of video and to let you know where i'm where i am in the future with my minimalism journey i've just sold two of the little bedside lamps that were on the floor in here they've just sold someone come and collected them and paid 15 pound for them so that 15 pounds has gone into my savings i also sold the big orchid off the dining table and the orchid that i made for the kitchen that's also gone and that money's gone into my savings so the next video is going to be how much money i made selling my stuff because not everything I've sold, obviously some stuff's being donated, some stuff's given away to family and friends, and then some things I'm popping onto Vinted and Marketplace and places like that and selling them. And that money is going to go into my little saving wallet, which is what I've seen in a previous video. But I've got an update of that coming to let you know how much money I've made. And hopefully it inspires you to declutter the sun is streaming through the window i'm going to go and put a wash on the washing line thank you so much everyone for watching and i'll see you all in my next video take care and i'll see you soon bye for now